Hey, Darlene. Hey. Nice to have you. Hi. You enjoy the show? Yes. I'll be back afterwards. Okay, hello everybody. So imagine you want to have reliable monitoring of up to 300,000 assets. And these assets, uh, you want to do predictive maintenance with them. And the assets are actually moving. Uh, we were exactly in that situation. And uh, we found that the Siemens MindSphere is the perfect ecosystem for our problem. And we will talk later in a second uh, about this product in, a, in more details. Uh, but let's, let us tell you a bit more about who we are and what else we do. So my name is Eugene. Hey, I'm Darlene. And I want to introduce you to our team. Um, actually, I'm, I'm happy to work in a great team of more than 100 software engineers and project managers. And we develop high-level software solutions. And um, colored, as you can see here in this picture, we are completely different uh, characters within our company. But we have one thing in common, and that is actually that we all love to work agile, uncomplicated, and solution-oriented. Um, so where are we located? Our local roots are in Germany. And uh, we are mainly based here in Saarbrücken. Uh, Saarbrücken, the capital of Saarland, which is the heart of Europe. And um, so why do we prefer um, this location for 25 years now? It's actually because um, we are very close at the Saarland University. The Saarland University is one of the most important locations for computer science since 1960. Um, and just two or three minutes by car, we are surrounded by um, the Helmholtz Institute, which is the largest uh, becoming a center for IT security, or uh, the German Research uh, Center for Artificial Intelligence, or the two Max Planck Institutes for um, software systems and computer science. And this affects us in two ways. It's not just because that we um, get highly um, educated employees. It's also that we are always get motivated to be ahead when it comes to new technology, just because the source for it is just around the corner. So let's talk a little bit about what we're doing. The first thing I want to introduce you is our um, IoT solutions. So Internet of Things, what is our part, Plan Software's part, when it comes to the extension of internet connectivity into physical devices? Um, we have developed different applications within or for the MindSphere. And one I want to talk about is C Drive IQ. Uh, C Drive IQ actually a Siemens owned MindSphere app. Um, it's a monitoring drive system, and here for that we developed the front end, which you can see. And C Drive IQ is actually a cloud based solution for data analysis that makes the operational and condition data for uh, drive or off drive components more transparent. So what you can do is you can analyze, optimize um, the drive systems digitally, and thus you can maximize your performance or you can improve your performance and um, your uh, efficiency. Uh, here you see the HiDEC hydraulic compact power unit, which you can also see visit us at our booth. Uh, in the MindSphere Lounge, and we um, attach um, a low-price connector to it, which takes from this box several kinds of data and transfers it every 10 seconds into the MindSphere. And this way, you can monitor and do predictive maintenance, of course, also with that data, uh, with, for example, board temperature, uh, oil temperature, um, ambient temperature, and uh, also the power average and s information like that. So you can just remotely monitor everything of that uh, hydraulic power unit. Uh, we are not only doing IoT solutions with the plan software, but also product configurators and in specific 3D solutions for the web. So. To, to give you an example, this is the Siemens ADEMF, um, a Siemens Nordstar project. 
uh, which is also part of the Siemens Industry Mall. And you can uh, configure a wide variety of control cubicles with that software. Uh, so you can choose from first uh, specific elements and then you can extend them in a modular fashion. Uh, and also, of course, you get customized pricing in the end. Um, and together with these product configurators, it often makes sense also to have e-commerce solutions in place that are enterprise scale. So what you usually know is like a shop system which, ha which is having like a product search and a, a shopping cart. But when you're talking about enterprise solutions, this is only the, the tip of the iceberg. So this is really only the top 10% maybe of the effort in such a shop. So we are experts in doing um, uh, the whole rest of it. So like integration of such a shop into the landscape of uh, uh, ERP solutions like SAP or uh, also uh, CRM solutions and so forth. And to connect them with real stocks and whatever information is out there. Uh, here you see, can, for example, uh, we did the Void Paper Webshop, which is a um, web shop for um, spare parts of these large paper machines or huge paper machines you can see on the right. Uh, and here also you get customized pricing out of it. But let's get <coughs> now to the main talk, to the moving assets we were talking about in the very beginning. Uh, so what are these moving assets? And it's actually about trucks. So we are monitoring trucks and we are talking about someone who has to uh, uh, maintain a truck fleet. So he has to make sure he has several ch challenges. So he has to make sure uh, that the trucks are running all the time. So breakdowns should be avoided if possible. And you have to know that 82% of all commercial vehicle um, breakdowns are tire related. So we are putting a special focus also on tire pressure and tire temperature to know about that. Um, you also might have heard about that, the fact that it's always harder to get truck drivers. So also this is a challenge and uh, our system helps to make life better for them as well. And finally, it's good to know where your trucks are if you're a fleet operator because this helps you to improve uh, the supply chain management and also you can do clever logistics with it. Imagine you have a truck that is not fully loaded and you're passing by a certain location. You can just decide instantly to pick up things from there. So information about location is very valuable for a truck fleet operator. Okay, so um, I'd like to introduce you to something that um, faced these challenges, a solution that we developed. It's called IFMS. IFMS stands for Independent Fleet Management Solution. Independent because it's independent from tire truck manufacturers. And um, it's actually a solution uh, or application that we developed for uh, the MindSphere. And so how does it work? Just some basic information. As you can see here, we have some um, signals and the signals come from sensors that we have on each rim on the truck reels. And these sensors, they measure specific data. They measure tire pressure and temperature. Moreover, we take other data like location data via GPS, we take uh, telemetry data like fuel speed or axle weight, even freight information. And all this information get read out via a physical interface and processed in the mind sphere in real time. So how does that look? Uh, we have here fleet manager, he's the person who has to work with all that. And the fleet manager is basically in his office and he's um, monitoring or watching his fleet. And the first thing he starts is within the MindSphere, he opens the application for IFMS and then he gets a listed overview of um, his vehicles within his fleet. Here we see a little bit more closer what you have. You have cars which actually need action at the moment. So they have a problem, a breakdown or something, or something that will occur. And um, they are marked red or orange. And then we have the other ones within the fleet that have no problems. They just work fine at the moment. So then you can also see that 
um, as a map, you can see where your uh, vehicles are located at the moment or positioned at the moment and you have some more detailed information on the left column where you have uh, information like for example category country application and so on but let's go let's go back here and and see what happens in case of alert when an alert happens within a, a truck two things happen. The, the first thing is that the truck driver will see a warning light within his truck. The second thing is that um, the fleet manager receives a text message or uh, an email and so he can go uh, to on, on our side and, and check more details about the truck. Here on the left side, you have the wheels. You can see here marked the orange wheel, what has the alert, and the other wheels as well. In the middle column, you see more wheel information like property, uh, properties, rim size, so on, and uh, sensor data. And then on the right side, you also have the development of the uh, tire pressure as well as the temperature. And all this information now is used by the fleet manager to analyze the problem within the truck um, just to find out what's happening and to, to make sure that um, the, the truck is, is running or that there, there will come help for the truck. You can see it a little bit more different here. You have more. You have also key data. Uh, it's not wheel-related information. This is truck-related information, like for example, uh, speed or maintenance or so on. It's real-time data, and you can also see here a truck journey. So where are your trucks at the moment? What was the journey of the trucks? It's also for analyzing the optimal route. So let's come to, to uh, the end and um, what it's all about. It's all about predictive maintenance. Um, what we can do or what the fleet manager can do with the IFMS system is to improve maintenance scheduling on the first side. Secondly, he can detect imminent breakdown, so he can work proactive and uh, just make sure um, that he ha undertakes steps to, or in, at an early stage. What he also can do is he can detect uh, anomalies very early and just predict malfunctions. Some KPIs for that are, for example, 20 or that we uh, uh, observed uh, 95 percent of all uh, highway breakdowns can be avoided with our system. We have 75 percent of labor time that can be saved. Just because um, with the system, uh, you're only rectifying by exception. And at least, or at last, you have 3% of fuel consumption that can be saved with um, the tire telematics. So I think that was a brief in, uh, overview, but I would like to introduce you to come or to invite you to come to our uh, booth with, here in the Mindsphere and to give you more insights and show you the system here. Uh, within our booth. Thank you. Siemens, ingenuity for life.